Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Garland here bringing you a new Neverwinter video. And as the title suggests, we're going to talk about the new limited time uh, battle pass for the module 27 update uh, Spelljammer. So it is called the First Contact Limited Time Battle Pass. Uh, let's go through it really quickly here. So we have three tiers as always. The first one is av available now for the Mod 27 launch. The second tier will be available on December 12th. And then the third tier will be available on January 16th. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So we have upgrade tokens to Mountain Companion times 15. We have an Astral Lockbox. We have a Coalescent Moat. And then two Enchanted Keys. And then the premium task, uh, we have Greater Shards of Empowerment times 10. We have the uh, Zarian Companion Choice Pack, which has the Ion Stone, Kuatoa, Rust Monster, Swashbuckler. And then if you don't want any of those, it has uh, 75 Companion Token Upgrade times 2. Four Enchanted Keys. And then finally, we have the uh, Alaric Artillery Beacon account-wide artifact. So if we go ahead and look at that really quickly here. We're going to be looking at this here. At Mythic level, you can read it on your screen what it does. It's a 1500 item level artifact, uh, 1688 accuracy and combat advantage. Alrighty, so starting on December 12th, we have the second tier for the free track. Uh, we have 20 reroll tokens, two enchanted keys, uh, vanity pet choice pack, which we don't really care about, but it's funny because they have some rare uh, vanity pets in here, so they're bringing them back again. Uh, then an astral lockbox. On the paid track, we have two astral lockboxes, coalescent ward, uh, the epic caller upgrade progress pack, which has a epic mauler, epic mountain caller choice pack, insignia powder, and greater shards of empowerment. And then this is new. Um, I mean, not a new item, but this is the first time this has been in a battle pass. Uh, we're actually getting uh, four Magnificent res uh, Resurgence lockbox. Uh, you get four keys and four boxes, so that's kind of interesting. All right, and then the final tier will be available next year, uh, January 16th of 2024. So for the free rewards, we have another Astro lockbox, uh, a 72-slot Mythic bag, Five scroll mass life, five greater shards of empowerment. On the paid tier, we have uh, companion and mount tokens. Uh, we have a mount choice pack, uh, which is the dawn unicorn, dusk unicorn, gelatinous cube, and the heavy howler. Uh, if you don't want any of those, then you get uh, mount upgrade token pack times two. So it's interesting about this. Again, Cryptic just loves bringing old things back into the game. Uh, the dawn unicorn. And the Dusk Unicorn were, once upon a time, exclusive to the Zen Markets. Um, and they were $50 packs. Um, the Gelatinous Cube was a promo. Hasn't been in the game forever. And the Heavy Howler, I believe, was a Zen Market as well. You can only buy the Heavy Howler. Now, through recent changes, all of these mounts have a chance to drop either out of, I believe, lockboxes or dungeon chests. So... It's irrelevant anyway that they put them in here because they already ruined the rarity. So, it is what it is. But, you know, Cryptic loves just, you know, being Cryptic and putting stuff in the game uh, that was once rare uh, and unobtainable for that matter. Uh, and they just love recycling it. So, it is what it is. Four Enchanted Keys. And finally, another Coalescent mode. So that's all three tiers of the new limited time battle pass. Uh, the first contact. Are these things worth it? Um, I mean, we've had several of these limited time battle passes at this point. I've done them all. Uh, I'll do this one as well. But is it worth it for a veteran player? No, absolutely not. I mean, all of these items in here are mainly geared toward newer players. Uh, and it's essentially a cash grab to buy the premium track. Uh, I've had videos discussing how horrible these battle passes are uh but it is what it is i don't want to get into a rant video so 
Uh, you can find the Battle Pass under campaign. It's $25, um, 2,500 Zen, so $2,500, and then you can just buy it out for an additional uh, 1,000 um, Zen. Uh, however, this is retroactive, so the more you complete on it, the price goes down. So $25 for the Battle Pass, and then if you want to just buy them out instantly, that's your prerogative. Um that's it. That's all I got for you today, folks. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them below. Again, that's the Module 27 Spelljammer, uh, Limited Time Battle Pass, uh, the first contact. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you guys real soon.